Hello everybody, um, this is another video. It's gonna be a random chat, but it's gonna be with Holiday Starbucks. I'm so excited. So I got three drinks, all tall. I think if I did like like a grand and two talls, that'd be too much. Um, I thought two would be a minimum, should be a maximum, but I think three talls will be okay. And it's, it's not too late in the day. And I got a little, uh, holiday treat. So, I already tried the Cranberry Bliss Bar. Gosh, I'm so excited to film this. I had a trouble time, like I had a hard time getting to sleep. So I went to bed late and I was trying to wake up earlier today, but it didn't really happen because I went to bed too late um, because I was just so excited for today. Um, I'm expecting a package today, a tea package, so that video is hopefully going to be filmed today and maybe um, uh, put up today. I got stuff for an advent calendar for my dad because last year I made my mom a coffee advent calendar. Um, but usually I do like a tea advent calendar. I didn't do one last year, but I did the one the year before and two years before that and I'm doing one this year. So, I feel like I usually have an advent calendar. When I was younger, I used to have a chocolate advent calendar. But I wanted to kind of be like, make a nice homemade advent calendar for my mom. So I got like coffee from Bulk Barn. I got some of the instant Starbucks via Colombian coffee. She really liked that. And I had some K-Cups that I got. And I also had some like coffee from hotel rooms that we just had in the kitchen. That I was just trying to kind of use as a day for her advent calendar and she really liked it i don't think i'm gonna do it this year because i didn't do one for my dad last year so i really wanted to do one for my dad this year um he's not a big coffee and tea person like he drinks tea sometimes with me and coffee he only drinks it when he needs to be awake like if he's doing a long road trip or if he's like a special occasion um but he is a big chocolate fan so i am too i'm i think i get the sweet tooth from my dad but also my mom says she has a big sweet tooth, but she doesn't really eat that many sweets. But my dad, I think he says he eats like a chocolate bar a day or like some sweets, but um, he has really good metabolism and he does like three workouts a day, two to three workouts a day. Um, so, I mean, it's not like he should eat a chocolate bar every day, but I think it'd be nice. Uh, I haven't told him yet, so he doesn't know, but I kind of went to the dollar store and got like almost every chocolate bar. And I got some candy, I got like some Tootsie Rolls and um, the caramel things. Um, but yeah, I got most of the ones that he liked. I think there were some that were like, I don't know if he'd want them. So I tried to switch up a little bit. But I think the person that was cashing the chocolate bars was probably like, but <laughs> what's she gonna do with all the chocolate? But they're not for me, they're for my dad. So, and I think I'm gonna wrap them up individually and then put like a little tag that says day one, day two. And, um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that, and I already said about my tea package, I'm really excited about that. There's so many tea companies I'd love to buy some, but A, I have so much tea, B, I mean that's a lot of money, <laughs> and um, I mean eventually I guess I'll, I'm only 20, I mean almost 21, I guess in February. Um, but, you know, I guess I started off young drinking tea. Some people say they don't start drinking tea until later. Um, or, like, you've always grown up drinking, like, red rose tea with your grandmother. My grandmother lo loved red rose. She would drink, like, three cups of tea of red rose, orange pico a day. Um, I do like orange pico, but I'm more of a green tea. Um, I, well, I love every tea. I do like, you know, expanding my horizon. Uh, I recently tried to lapsing Souchong. So if you check my recent um, tea haul, I think I just put like a tea haul. Excuse me, a random tea haul. Um, but that's going to be fun. Um, I I was kind of scared to try lapsing Souchong, but again, I'd like to try all kinds of teas. I definitely have tried many, many teas, uh, many companies, but there are many companies that, you know, aren't near me um i'd love to try and because of covid you can't really travel that much um hopefully by springtime i'll get to see my sister she's in ontario right now so they got really strict um rules right now regulations um so hopefully we'll be able to see her soon 
and, you know, go traveling. Um, but, you know, I'm pretty good. I'm uh, in the Maritimes. And, you know, we're still following the rules. Um, you know, I'm washing my hands as much as I can. I'm always wearing a mask when I'm, like, in a public place. And, you know, um... And, you know, we're very safe, although I did find out that I had a relative that passed away because of COVID. And, oh, there's a great cat that's in my driveway. That's pretty cute. Ooh, he's very pretty. I don't know which cat that is. I don't know if it's, like, my next-door neighbor. Um, but, yeah. Oh, but, yeah, my relative, uh, I don't think I ever really met her, but she was my grandfather's sister. So, my dad's aunt. Yeah. Um... But I guess it happens. I didn't think I'd be having a, I I didn't think I'd really know anyone who would pass away because of COVID. But she was older. She was like in her 80s. 82, 84. Um, but it doesn't matter of age. It's still always tough. And yeah. Um, because COVID. <laughs> um, I do know a lot. Some people who have lost more people. Um, but yeah. So it's, it is kind of sad. But you know, I don't know, uh, this is just a random chat, and I haven't tried my drinks yet, but, um, yeah, just a little bit of a chat, um, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, um, I was trying to wake up earlier, but because I was so excited for today, I had a tough sleep, like, I'm a, I'm a good sleeper, um, I can sleep pretty easily, but, I don't know, I guess when I'm really excited, like, when it's Christmas, you're so excited. And yeah, so today was really exciting. Um, I didn't, I checked the mailbox before I came to my house, but the box was in there, so hopefully it will be in soon. But this is the Cranberry Bliss Bar. It's softer than I thought it would be. I thought it would be, like, um, harder. Um, but no, it is very good. Um... It's like something you'd eat at like a party, like a treat. Uh, it is kind of early in the morning and I haven't really had breakfast, but I am going to be drinking three coffees, so I thought, um, but I'm going to be drinking my, eating my fruits, eating my vegetables, having tea. Um, I may have a tea from the box if it arrives early enough. And I'm so excited to unbox that. Um, it's from Adagio. So Adagio is an American company, but, you know, I dabble in, you know, um, I just thought it'd be really nice. And I got a tea that's only available, um, every blue moon. So, sneak peek of what I have in my package. Um, but let's try these drinks. I'm so excited. Okay, so, I love watching these videos, and usually these, like, drinking holiday drinks are in the car, and I kind of do like the feel of being in the car talking. Um, yeah. And okay, so I'm going to start off with the peppermint mocha, and they, got, they released the drinks. So I got two different designs, they're all really cute. And I didn't get the red cup because, A, I don't really go to Starbucks often, but because of these videos, maybe I will be, but. Okay, this has melted a lot. Um, this, I think this was, like, filled up to the top, but I'm gonna, I have you leaning against a tissue box, but this is, oh my gosh, it's, uh, it's kind of melted a lot, but it's all good. It's, it's still gonna taste good. Um, I don't know if I've actually tried the peppermint mocha from Starbucks. I have tried, like, a peppermint mocha, but when it comes to chocolate and mint, I'm not always a big fan, but I thought, why not? Let's try it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's kind of sad that it's all melted, but it's all good. I mean, peppermint, chocolate, coffee. Pretty good. I really do like the Yorkshire mints. But I find if you have too many... Uh, <laughs> you can't have too many, I guess, but uh, I do like chocolate and peppermint, but yeah, okay. This might be more promising. So there's still a little bit more foam. Random tea chat. 
a random chat. Oh, this is a caramel brulee latte. I don't know if they had the eggnog latte out. And I heard they are not bringing back the gingerbread latte, but again. And they have, but they do have a new cold brew, which sounds really good. And I really do like the cold brews. I had tried the cold brew with the sea salt, salted foam. I think I wasn't a big fan of that, but I really like the pumpkin one. So there's still like a little bit of foam in the caramel brulee. Are you a person who says a caramel or a caramel? I say caramel, but sometimes I think I could say caramel and I wouldn't notice it. I guess if you like um like the caramel macchiatas, this would be a nice this would be a nice drink. Mmm. Pretty good. <laughs> I can feel these are gonna fill me up, but it's good. It's um, you know, I I love watching these videos, and I just thought it'd be really fun to do this. Okay, this stream, this drink might be the best saved. Um, so this is Irish cream cold brew. Uh, I think it has a like, cocoa powder on top, and oh my gosh. So there's a lot of cocoa powder, I think. Excuse me. This might be the best drink for like an everyday. Um, if you don't want something too sweet, but you want something that tastes good and that's, you know, refreshing kind of. Like it's not overwhelmingly sweet. Like the caramel brulee latte, it's sweet. Um, the peppermint chocolate mocha, it's sweet. <laughs> this is like, I think you can taste the chocolate in here. But it's not really chocolate, it's like the cocoa. Um, but it tastes like a like a cold brew coffee with like the like cocoa in it. Wow. <laughs> That's the best I could say. But like if you wanted a drink that you could drink every day without too much sugar, this would be really good. Mm, yeah. I feel like this reminds me of like how I make my iced, co iced coffee at home. I haven't made iced coffee in a while. I haven't made coffee in a while. Um, but how I make my coffee, I I don't really do ice. I feel like it just makes it weak. So I, so I uh, put whatever coffee I have in my French press. Yeah, in my French press. Which I got like for six dollars at Value Village, which was pretty good. Um, and then I broke one, and then I went back to Valley Village and got the same one for the same price. So uh, that that works out well. It hasn't broken, so hopefully it doesn't. But I'm careful with it. Um, so I put like two scoops of the coffee grinds in my French press, um, boiled water. Well, I use my kettle, and when it turns off, I put the water into the coffee, leave for like four minutes. That's what I do for a hot coffee. For a nice coffee, I just kind of, I don't really care about time. I don't go for too long, but maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes four, but four to like 20 minutes or so. Just, excuse me, so it tastes really strong, I guess, because it's going to be cold brew. And then I kind of let it... I guess that's why I steep it for long, because I like to let it cool down, and then I put it in the fridge in my thing that I'm going to drink my coffee out of. And, um, oh, excuse me, there does seem to be, like, some vanilla in here. This is somewhat sweet, um, but it is very good. Um, and in my coffee... I, I can do hot, plain, like, black coffee, 
Um, but if it's ice, it's usually got to be flavored with something. So I put some milk in it and uh, like got agave. I have these <laughs> these skinny syrups from like Home Sense or Winners, and I thought they were gonna be really good, but I think it's like a weird artificial like stevia sweetener, and it's not the best. I'm kind of getting used to it, but I just kind of want to drink them up and not get them again. I was really excited for the flavors, but yeah, just with the the sweetener they use, it's I'd rather have like an agave from David C. Which, um, I don't really use agave, but I had like a pumpkin agave a while ago from David C. that I got for free because of um a certain amount of money I spent. And I used it in my coffee, and I think I also used it on like my granola or something for just because I was trying to get rid of it. But then when I was very close to being done, I realized it was really good on my coffee. Um, and then I got the skinny syrups, and I'm like halfway through them. There's three of them, and I finished one, and the second one I'm like half done, I think. So I'm really trying to just finish them up. Um, and then my coworker actually gave me some of her teas that she had. So she had like the rainbow tins of the skinny North African mint and pink lemonade, which the pink lemonade I've never tried. So I'm very excited. Um, this was a while ago, but thank you, Patty. I don't think she's going to be watching this, but, um, and she had a vanilla agave in there and I've been putting that in my coffee is when I do make my coffee, but yeah, <laughs> this is really good. Mmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, it's not sweet sweet, but it does taste sweet. A little bit. So, oh my gosh. I'm excited. Um, so it's November 9th. <sighs> Crazy. I'm actually on my reading break right now, which is like a break for students to catch up with their readings and schoolwork and also chillax because you get to chillax. And this... Life is weird where school is very different and I think a lot of people, especially people who are just starting off like their first year in university, it sucks for them. Um, I feel for the people who have to start their first year of university during like COVID. Um, I started university like two years ago, um, but the first year I actually did it. I changed degrees. I went to a different school. Um, but I really do like the experience of going to classes. I actually do have two classes that I can go to class, um, to a lecture once a week, um, for both of them, uh, which is really nice because like online, I'm just not a big fan of online, but I feel for everyone who has to just do online and they don't like it because I guess you're, you may struggle a little bit. Uh, and it's probably the year if you want to take a year off, it's the year to do it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, excuse me. So I have schoolwork to do, I'll be doing, um, but today is just kind of doing like YouTube videos and wrapping up the advent calendar. I hope he likes it. I think he might be a little like, what's this? <laughs> what's this, Lily? It's like, it's your advent calendar. Um, but it's really fun. Like, I could have easily got like a chocolate advent calendar from the store but I just thought I kind of thought like it's a thought that counts like you're picking out the ones that they like like my mom really liked the coffee from her advent calendar and she wasn't expecting it and um I don't think I'm gonna do one for her just just because I want to do one for my dad but I think he's gonna be a little surprised but I mean I think he's gonna get free chocolate so he's gonna be happy um yeah, I'm just really excited. And I'm remembrance day is November 11th. So I'll be doing my two minutes of silence. And um, I don't know if I'm going to do a ceremony because there's this run that a bunch of us local runners are going to do. And I know most of the runners that are going to be there. And it's like 11K. Ooh. Or... 11k I think or it's, mm, it, it's a long distance run I guess 16k maybe I think 16 
I don't know. But yeah, we're going to be doing that. And then when it hits the time to do the two minutes of silence, we're going to stop. And then, yeah, so that'll be fun. Um, so I'm not going to watch Christmas movies until after Remember to Say. I do have Christmas movies recorded, but I haven't watched them yet just because I really do want to watch them. But personally, for me, I know it doesn't matter if you don't want to watch them or if you want to watch them like Halloween you know, um, to each their own. I just personally, for me, I feel like I should wait a little bit. And also, there's so much TV. I have The Bachelorette recorded, and I'm, I'm on episode three right now. Um, and it seems like a crazy season. And I actually started on a TV show, which is older, um, but it's, it's in my area. Or it's, you know... It's a good show for me. It's really good. Um, also, sideway, uh, segue. Um, so, these tall drinks and the cranberry bliss bar were $20. So, that's not. I'm kind of expensive because they're all talls. That's the smallest size. But you know, it's worth it because I do like doing these card chats. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so the show I'm watching. I'm a big fan of the Supernatural. So I watch like Teen Wolf, um, Vampire Diaries, a little bit of the originals. I'd like to go back to that. The Witcher, Grimm, a little bit of Supernatural. I'd like to go back to that. Like Once Upon a Time is a little in a way. Um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, like the older one with, oh, what's her name? Uh, like the older one from like early 2000s. Har, carp, I don't know. Uh, ah, I forget. But, you know, not the one on Netflix, but the one before with the girl. She's really good. She's, she's really good. Uh, um, and even Big Wolf on Campus, that's, like, from 1997, I think, and it's from, like, BBC, the channel, I think. Uh, it's really lame, the werewolf, but it's a really good show. It's, like, 20 minutes long. It's kind of like a kid's show. But, so, so I've watched many different, like, you know, werewolf vampires. I love the vampire movies and that stuff, and, um, True Blood. It has Anna Paquin. She's... I only know her from X-Men, the sequel of X-Men. She has, like, the ice powers where if she touches you, she kind of freezes you. I forgot her character in that movie. Sloan, maybe? And the main vampire in the show is Bill. So, Anna Paquin plays Sookie, who's, like, a telepathic um, human in, like, Louisiana. And... She meets this vampire, and she can't read his thoughts, so that's really, like, you know, nice, because she, all she does is hear people's thoughts, which drives her nuts, so she, you know, falls in love with this vampire, his name is Bill, <laughs> and in the, uh, the second episode, I think she's like, what, your name is Bill, like, not Basil or Antoine, <laughs> which is really funny, you should watch True Blood, um, and he... The actor who plays him is Stephen Moyer, and he is a British, British man. Um, I'm a big fan of the British accent, <laughs> but um, he's actually in a show called The Gifted, which is kind of like the X-Men a little bit, like an X-Men X -Men, spinoff um, TV show. I have watched like an episode, and I'd like to watch the whole series, but yeah, he's in that show, and they're actually married in real life, so they're kind of dating in part of the show, and like they fall in love, but in real life, they're married, and I love that. That just it gets me so excited when I hear like couples in TV shows are like actually married in real life, so like, um, Once Upon a Time, uh, the person, the actress who plays Snow, uh, Jennifer Goodwin, she's in like... A lot of good stuff. She's in Zootopia. She plays um, the bunny. Um, she's um, in Why Women Why Women Kill, and she's a good in that. But she and her on-screen, you know, husband, charming in the show, 
I forget what his name is, but they're married in real life, and I love that. So when I found out that Anna Packard and Stephen Moyer are married in real life, and they're so cute on the TV show, um, I just love that. And I actually follow Stephen Moyer on Instagram just recently because I just started watching this show, but I am in love with it. I'm on season two. There's seven seasons. This may be a show that I rewatch because I'm like, ugh. Um, there is a lot of, like, um, you know, um, love scenes like sex <laughs> um and there's some you know blood and parts you know getting cut off and that stuff maybe so you know you want to be a decent age watching those maybe like 16 or up mm. but actually there's like a couple people from the true blood that are from um once upon a time actually so the person the actress in true blood uh she's a vampire her name is pam she is in once upon a time as maleficent and then there's like a character named renee and he plays in once upon a time belfler the son of rumpelstiltskin um hopefully that's not a spoiler for you i mean like i really do like once upon a time hmm This is really good. Um, but yeah, um, I love when I find people in, you know, a show that I don't expect them to see them in, and then they're in a different show, and it's just like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, True Blood is really good. Um, like, you know, if you like The Vampire Diaries and Twilight, you'd probably love um, True Blood. I know I do. I love the way um, they'll call Sicky because they all have like a Louisiana well I guess most of the main characters do Bill doesn't really but the way he says Sicky's name I love it <laughs> he gets me so excited and um yeah so that's the show I'm like really a big fan of um but there's a show on Netflix called The Queen's Gambit which both my sister and my dad have recommended to me so eventually I'll watch it. I think I was I had it on my list anyways, but after them both saying to watch it, I'm going to watch it. Mm. Hmm. These are all so good. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, the mint really happens in the peppermint mocha. Um, what else? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so t hopefully I'll be doing like two or three videos. I'm trying to make this video a little bit shorter than my last, um, you know, pumpkin spice video. Um, but I just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I also got new glasses. These are my new glasses. They are so nice. Um, they're from Zenny, which is like an online glasses <laughs> um, company. And uh, they came in pretty quick. I think they came in like two weeks, I guess. Which isn't that bad. Uh, I do have my old glasses. I have most, most of my glasses I have had are from Zenny. The first two were from Vogue Optical. Um, but five? Then, so I think I've, I'm on my seventh pair of glasses. Um, so five of my glasses are from Zenny. And I think I'm going to continue to buy from Zenny. My dad got a new pair of glasses and he got them from Zenny and he really likes them. My mom gets glasses from Zenny. My sister does. We all like Zenny. Um, Zenny is really good. Not an ad, just random thought. And you can like take a picture of you and put it on the site. So when you try a pair of glasses, you can put your the glasses on your face through a picture. So it kind of shows you what they would look like on you. Uh, I wasn't sure how they. I would think about these glasses. <laughs> when I first tried them on, but I really do like them, and especially when I run, they don't slip because they're not too big for my face. My last pair of glasses, which I may still wear, but just when I got a new pair of glasses, I just kind of love wearing the this pair. Um, they were too big for my face. I really like the style, but I, I think my mom said this is the perfect style for me, and I really like these style. Um, uh... But yeah, they don't slip, they don't fog out as much because I'm not slipping. And yeah, I'm so happy. I love them so much. Um, 
this. Ooh. Um, if you like romance, Bachelorette seems crazy. Um, if I were to recommend a holiday drink, I mean, it would be nice to try the gingerbread and the eggnog. I don't know if there's another one. But, I mean, oh, and the, I think there is a ch ch praline chestnut. Um, but the caramel brulee was nice. Pepper mocha was nice. I think... I really like the caramel brulee, but I'm going to say the Irish cream cold brew is my number one. And then caramel brulee, and then peppermint mocha. Just because peppermint mocha, I mean, it's good, but it's not my favorite. Hmm. And the cranberry bliss part is really good. Um, gosh. Uh, I hate that's it. I kind of told you about everything. Um, so I'm, if you have a reading week, or if you have a day off, um... Hopefully you're having a great day. Um, if you're watching Christmas movies, write down in the comments which movie I should watch. There are so many movies that I haven't watched yet. Because I feel like every year I record like so many Christmas movies and only half of them I get to watch. So hopefully I'll be able to watch more movies. Um, but yeah, I think I should go. I think the caffeine's kind of in me. Hopefully I get my package soon. I really want to film that video. Um... But it should be today, so fingers crossed. Um, got my advent calendar for my dad. I got some coffee. Uh, and I have a new show, True Blood. I, not an ad, but if you love vampires and werewolves, watch True Blood. Um, I watch it on Crave, but you could probably do like YouTube or like iTunes, but I do Crave TV. Um, so good. <laughs> um, so hopefully you have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I try to keep it a little bit shorter. Um, come back for more videos. I'm gonna have so many videos. I I have a list of videos I'm gonna eventually film because I feel like sometimes people kind of have you know writer's block, but for videos, uh, I don't feel that right now. So yeah, come back for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and come back for more. See you.